Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the new Google update that allows you to use Meet and Classroom together. So I'm really excited for this video today because Google's heard from countless educators around the world who have had to shift to teaching online, and they've made a few changes that are really gonna improve the way teachers use Google Meet. So now, when you're in your Google Classroom, in the top right corner where your settings are, if you select that, you'll notice that you now have a Meet setting. And what this is, is a link to a Google Meet for your class that you have the option to make visible or invisible to students. So if you select visible, now in the banner of your classroom, you'll notice there's a link directly below your class code. So this allows you as an educator to control when students have access to your Google Meet. So if you want to make this invisible, simply go back to the settings, scroll down, select the circle again, turning it off, and click save. Now when I go back into my classroom, that link is gone. So as a teacher, you can either inform your students that once class begins, there will be a link in the banner. You can either tell them that ahead of time, you can post something in the stream, but it gives you the chance as a teacher to go in, say five minutes before class starts, you can make the link visible, and then you can be in the meet before your students have a chance to arrive. And you as the teacher have an option to change the URL. So if you see the little arrow next to your existing URL, you can select reset and you'll get a new randomly generated link. And you can do this as many times as you would like. So if every day you wanted to select a new link that you then post right before class starts, you can do that. And I know for some teachers, having students go into the meets before them or after they leave became an issue. So Google has really done a lot to prevent that from happening. And they've actually helped prevent that from happening for teachers who aren't using Google Classroom as well. So if you're a teacher who's not using Classroom, I can show you how you can do that in a regular meet as well. When you go into Google Meet and you start a meeting, you have the ability to give your session a nickname. So once you're in your meet, in the bottom left corner, you'll see the nickname for your meeting. And once you've created a nickname in this update, Google has made it so that participants can't rejoin a nicknamed meeting once the last person has left. So this means that you as a teacher, if you're the last person to leave a nickname meeting, students won't be able to join again until you have restarted the same nicknamed meeting. So these updates from Google are extremely helpful to educators everywhere who are using Meet, trying to integrate it with Classroom, and the fact that Google was so responsive and quick to get these updates out uh, is really inspiring. So please, as teachers and educators, continue to send feedback because this is the only way that we can continue moving forward with distance learning. If you have any questions about any of the updates that I showed you, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below or reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada. And if you know a teacher that might find these helpful, please feel free to share these as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.